The day sin flooded the world by Adam Stower. In a house beside the sea lived a forgetful boy called Finn. Every morning he forgot to make his bed, brush his hair, and switch off his lamp. He always left for school without his lunchbox and came home without his pants. Finn was a very forgetful boy. But one night, Finn remembered to wash his face, brush all his teeth, and feed his goldfish jewels. It was all going incredibly well until he forgot to unplug the sink and turn off the tap. Oops. While Finn slept, the sink filled with water, then the bathroom filled with water, then the bedroom filled with water too, then the house, the street, and the village all filled with water. By morning, Finn had flooded the world. He was awoken by a knock, knock, knock. It wasn't the postman. Is your name Finn? asked the big fish. Um, yes, said Finn. Did you flood the world? asked the little fish. Er, perhaps, said Finn, looking around. Come with us, said the fish together. Deep down at the bottom of the sea, Finn met a magnificent fish wearing a glittering crown. I am the fish king, boomed the fish king. Is your name Finn? Er, yes, said Finn. Did you flood the world? asked the fish king. Um, maybe, gulped Finn. Hooray! All the fish cheered, bobbing up and down and clapping their fins together. You're our hero, said the fish king. Now we can go everywhere. We can do everything. And in a flash, they swam up, up, up into the world above. For the very first time, they had lots and lots of unfishy fun. And Finn, the forgetful boy who made it all possible, was rewarded handsomely. He was given a seahorse to ride, so much pirate treasure that his eyes bulged, and a whole palace to sleep in. The next morning, Finn was woken up by another knock, knock, knock. It wasn't the milkman. Is your name Finn? asked the big bird. Yes, said Finn. Did you flood the world? asked the little bird. Yep, that was me, said Finn. Come with us, said the birds together. Right up at the top of the ocean, Finn met a splendid bird wearing a glittering crown. I am the bird queen, squawked the bird queen. So you are Finn, are you? Yep, said Finn, nodding. And you flooded the world, did you? She said, that's right, said Finn, beaming. That was me. Well, said the bird queen, what are you going to do about it? With the world full of water, the sky was full of everything else. The birds had nowhere left to fly. Finn felt terrible. He took a deep breath and dived back into the water. Finn knew he had to make things right, so he swam with all his might down into the deep blue sea and followed a tiny glowing light to find his village and his street. And when he reached his little home, he slipped in through the window and pulled out the plug with a with an enormous whoosh, slurp, and gurgle, the water swirled down the plug hole as it all drained away. Finn ran to the window. The fish were back in the sea below and the birds flew high in the sky. And it worked! And everything else? Luckily for Finn, it all ended up exactly where it had been before.